I've lived here since 1960 in Salford. <coughs> no, I've not. I've lived here since 1960. Since the uh, World Cup, England won the World Cup, which was 66. Yeah. So I've lived here since then. Before that, I lived in Manchester. Uh, the thing that worries me is if water goes completely, everybody's going to be in a real mess. And at the moment, it was in the paper yesterday, that a lot of the reservoirs are very, very low. Now, once the water goes, as I've already said, it's worse than anything else. If you can't drink, I'm afraid that's the end of it. So what on earth can we do to start saving more water? Is that something you worry about now more than you used to do? I do, because I'm a lot older now, of course. We have, my husband and I have four children, we have four grandchildren, and it worries me what these little ones are going to have to do when they get older. Is there anything going to be left for them? You know, the, the lads, the youngest is seven and the oldest is 22 and there's two more between. And it really worries me that there's not going to be much left for them. I mean, not just water, but trees are being cut down at a devastatingly big rate and that to me is very, very wrong. So that's another worry. Do you think that people behave differently now so they, they waste more than they used to? I do. And an example, last week on an estate near where I live, the little darlings got the water to come up out of one of the uh, pipes and they were running through it and they thought it was hilarious. Yeah. Which it probably was to them. Yeah. But they didn't realise and they hadn't been told by the parents that that's a waste of water, and what happens when the water runs out, as I've said. Just so, is that something that not happened, that didn't used to happen years ago, you know? I can't remember it happening years ago, to be perfectly honest. Apparently it used to happen in America, and they've been showing films in the past, and fairly recently, with these youngsters in America going under one of these fountains of water that's come up through the road, and I think this is where the little darlings have got the ideas from. Which isn't right, but hey, you know, if you don't teach your children, what can you do?